Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about knots, specifically the knots that you're using and I'm using to tie up your hiking boots. Now, for the longest time, I've been using just a standard square knot, which I, I'm assuming most of you have, but I recently came across a knot called the Berluti knot. It's from a fancy smancy Parisian dress shoe maker. Uh, and I learned about it as I was researching different knots to tie on my dress shoes, but I thought it had great application for my hiking boots as well. It's a double knot. It's simple to untie as well as to tie. And so far when I've been using it, it's held up really well and it hasn't loosened up. So I wanted to share it with you guys. As much as this video is about what I'm using now and what I think you should look into, I'm also curious to hear from you guys and gals uh, as to which knots you're using and what's worked best for you out in the field. So as I said, the key thing I think with any kind of good hiking boot or outdoor or not is that it's stout that it doesn't come loose after an all-day trek but that you can also untie easily and that was one of the biggest downfalls to just tying a standard double knot yes it holds but whenever you're trying to take it off at the end of the day and you're having to pick through muck and dirt and mud to get the knot undone it's kind of a it's kind of a hassle so all right so I'm gonna grab the camera and change the angle so you can better see how to tie this knot but before we jump into that make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and bullseye that like button to help with the YouTube algorithm so others can see this video as well okay so to tie this knot we start with a simple overhand twist so I'm taking the left going over the right twisting underneath and now we're going to make our bunny ears. Now you notice the right bunny ear has a red tag on the end and the left bunny ear has a green tag on the end and this is to help try to keep this a little bit straight. So start with our right and left bunny ear. You take the right bunny ear and go over the left bunny ear. holding it with my thumb. Now I'm going to take this right bunny ear and go around from kind of in front and through this loop here and you're going to do that with both the bunny ear and this tag end. So you go around with all of it. Just pull it through. Okay, you hold that tight. And now you take the left bunny ear, which is on my right side, and you come forward and through this loop, again with the other tag end as well. So you have it all through, and now you pull on the two bunny ears to tighten. And again, to untie, you simply just pull firmly on the tag ends and it'll come undone. All right, so let's do that again. To make your two bunny ears, you take your right bunny ear and go over the top. And you take the same right bunny ear and the left tag and take all of that and go in the front and back through this loop. Okay, hold that. Now you take the left bunny ear, which is on my right side now, and you take the right tag, you take all of this and come through the front here and go back through that same loop. And now you just pull on the bunny ears to tighten. And there you have it. If you did this right, the knot will lay pretty flat. So if you mix up which bunny ear you cross over the other one, you'll still get the same knot, but it'll be slanted like this. It'll want to twist a little bit, which is still fine. It still has worked fine. Um, but if you want it to lay flat, you go in the order that I just showed. And again, if you did it right, you should be able to just firmly pull on the tag ends and have it come undone. If you did it wrong, when you do that, it'll, you'll still have a knot left that you'll have to pick apart. So uh, this knot takes a little bit of practice to do, but uh, once you get it, it becomes second nature just like anything, and uh, I think it's well worth learning. 
All right, guys. Well, there you have it. That's the Berluti knot. Let me know what you think. It's been working well for me. Um, I've only been trying it for a few months, but it hasn't come loose and it's easy to untie. I'm curious what you guys are doing, if there's some other knot that maybe would be better. Um, but certainly it's important to have a good knot for your hiking boot. Until next time, thanks for watching.